20 Diplo, 14 development. Good trade. 18 development. 21 development. 20 development. And we get the Renaissance! Would you look at that? Who knew that if you remove every Italian province from the game, we get the Renaissance by default? Just absolutely look at these numbers. They're insane. Yes! Look at that increase! Oh my god! Yeah, that's pretty disgusting, Bordegore. I wouldn't want to be Muscovy right now. Hello everybody and welcome back to another exploit video. Today we are going to be playing Europa Universalis 4 and you may notice that we are hovering over an empty map. The reason for that is because we are going to be using an exploit to remove the entirety of Europe apart from Germany. That's right, Northern Germany and Southern Germany regions and playing the Austrian Emperor with a custom set of ideas that include the ability to plop down Siberian frontiers at will to rapidly colonize these high development provinces. This means we are going to be very rapidly able to revoke the Privilegia and unleash a vassal swarm of German miners upon all of the countries outside of the German region. And the best part about this is that Iron Man mode and achievements will still be enabled. After a short amount of time at speed 5, this exploit becomes absolutely insane. And without further ado, let's get into it. And uh, we're gonna go to town, so let's plop down. Uh, we'll maybe do it in Venice. Yeah, do it in Venice. We're going to plop down and get rid of every non-German province. There is an, also a slight issue here in that if we do take and get rid of the lowlands, those provinces um, count as being outside of the empire uh, or controlled by non-empire tags. So we'll get negative imperial authority growth for those provinces being uncolonized. All right, now let's move over to the Balkans. And uh, I debated leaving Ina Hungary as well, just because the Austrian missions, but we'll remove them as well. We'll keep everything just in the German regions for the sake of simplicity. All right, let's remove Poland from the game. We we'll don't have to deal with the Poles here. And let's also get rid of Livonians, plus Lithuania as well. And if we can, we'll get rid of a little bit of Muscovy to, to really weaken our uh, Russian neighbors. All right, so the next step in our little plan here, we are going to hit shift and right click on this button up here. We're gonna do this twice. This will bring us back to the main menu here. Then what we're going to do, we're gonna go over to our save games. We're gonna click on our empty world hit cancel, and then click on an Iron Man save file, hit cancel again. Then the next step is to cancel out of two of the windows. The custom nation button reappears in the bottom of the screen. We'll add it to an empty province and boom, all of Europe has been removed aside from a few chosen provinces. What we will be doing from here is we are going to be loading a game file, a custom nation save file that we've created previous to this little experiment here we cancel out of the two more menus austria load cancel out of the remaining windows and boom here we go the custom nation load menu is here we select our save file that we've prepared and since we clicked on the badge of austria we were able to load this custom nation file onto austria so watch closely over on the right boom austria now has different ideas as well as their ruler traits have changed. We have given them may establish Siberian frontiers, so we will see how we rapidly expand and add provinces to the empire to revoke the Privilegia and give ourselves a fun experience. All right, without further ado, ladies and gents, let's get into the game. First, we delete our custom nations so that achievements may be enabled. Double check that there's none left. All right, click on Austria and boom. Iron Man mode is enabled. Play. All right, let's go and take a look at who's rivalous. We have the Ottomans. Yes, Bohemia and Bavaria, huh? All right, let's look at the empire map mode. So we have some provinces that are outside the empire technically. So our imperial growth is going to be pretty low. Luckily though, everybody pretty much loves us. So we have people backing us. Let's send alliance offers to Brandenburg and they are rival to Saxony, so we're not going to have an alliance there. I think maybe Trier and Cologne will be good allies. Cologne, pretty good ally. 
Now, what we're going to be doing is playing with our estates. Let's go to the clergy. Let's give them some influence and demand administrative. And now the burghers. We have to give them a piece of land here. Okay, let's give them this grapes up here. All right, now they have enough influence to do these clicks. And let's take their nipple power. We could ask for the contribution as well. I think that not a bad thing to do. Let's take that click. And let's not take any clicks with the nobility. I didn't want to give them anybody more than 90% influence because that could be disastrous. We are making a good deal of money and we'll be making even more. Let's watch this. As, as we place some uh, provinces down here, let's watch our incomes. We're making four... 38 right now our total our total income is 13.7 so let's watch that let's get some advisors first um tax modifier boom let's get that guy spy network we're not gonna be really using that so i'll, I'll save my income there um land force limit modifier or land maintenance we'll 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 leave those for now i'm only really in a rush for diplo so i guess we'll get the spy the spy network is enabled here let's plop down our frontiers and would you look at this 14 developments siberian frontier 20 diplo 14 development good trade 18 development, 21 development, 20 development. Over here, 13 development. Only seven, nine, but farmlands, eight, 13 again. And we have some over here, but we're, oh, not direct land connection to our capital. So we'll have to wait a little bit to get that one, but we're, we're gonna be stretching into Milan and Rome and all of these nasty, disgusting, wealthy provinces in, in northern Italy. So we now have more developments than 200. So we'll take this click with those permanent uh, permanent claims on the empty provinces. Hopefully that'll help us with the core coring of these because we will statify them. And uh, in the meantime, let's just set the speed to at least three and uh, we'll wait to send these alliance offers to all of these electors. And we'll uh, speed five until we can get some of these uh, provinces fully colonized. I hate this freaking event, man. Holstein, War for Independence from from Denmark. Nice. Ooh, I didn't I didn't give the didn't take these away from Denmark. That's okay. All right, and we have the mission. Let's cure the electors. Let's get the diplo rep and let's get that Casus Belli on Bohemia, and just get that um, let's get that free vote. So in our ideas, we gave ourselves the poor cost reduction, admin efficiency infantry combat ability, then some imperial gain modifier, which I don't even know if we'll use this because we might actually revoke before we get there, so we'll, we'll see if that's relevant. Construction cost, because that's, you know, just decent to have. Discipline, missionary strength, and then our ambition, we have bonus missionaries. So we'll be able to um, handle the reformation pretty easily, or at least post-reformation, we should be good. Excellent. A prestige. That means we can colonize these provinces. Milan, 30 dev province. Now we can take this tech. All right, first idea group. What do you guys think? We are going to be doing pretty well um, for ourselves. Not gonna have to do with any conquests. Some military ideas are out the window. I say we just go for some innovative and stack that tech cost reduction. And um, eventually we'll use this to uh, get a decent policy uh, with quality ideas for bonus combat ability. So I say uh, that's probably a good one to take. Ooh, these are hard choices. All right, Diplomatic first. Play the Emperor game. Let's take Diplomatic. Venice. Colonized. Start getting these permanent claims here. This is why we took the, the core cost reduction here. Once we get our three ideas, that core cost reduction is going to be pretty gnarly. So, um, coring these up once we full state them. It's going to be pretty expensive. So let's... Uh, yeah, look at that. So we want that core cost reduction. I also want that admin efficiency pretty quickly. We are heading admin though, so we can go ahead and start coring these up. I think it's definitely worthwhile, especially uh, these high dev provinces here. So I think it's worth it for now. We'll take these clicks if we can. But we are making a lot more money now. 20, that's up from 13. So that's uh, a lot of, of money increase. We can start upgrading centers of trade here in these provinces that have you know, some building slots available. Taxation. I mean, why not for some of these that have, you know, extra building slots, so... I think we rival the Russians. What do you guys think? Well, everyone we can, and let's, uh, let's issue embargoes now. I forgot to do that once my diplomats were freed. Definitely embargo the Ottoman. Embargo them, and then we'll send an insult to the Ottoman once we are able to. We do have 82 prestige from missions. There we go, now the power projection's nice and high. 
know, once we have enough provinces to really uh, increase that imperial authority, we should be pretty good. As well as once we reclaim these provinces here that are in the Empire, but not in the Empire, that's going to really help us out. I don't know why I removed Silesia, I guess because they weren't in the German region. Diplomats plus one, that's also good. I think let's set our diplomats to do auto, so we're not wasting them. Let's, na let's do improved relations with neighboring countries, I guess. And I think we should probably focus Diplo, because we're going to be spending a lot of that. You guys are all the way drilled up. I say we invest in some more troops. What do you guys think? Let's build our armies up. I'd say 20 is pretty good. And we're still well below our force limit. And we're making a lot of money, so we can afford these troops. And this will help us out to beat up on Bohemia and their allies. All right, let's assign a general here. And uh, we'll send him over to this province. And we get the Renaissance! Would you look at that? Who knew that if you remove every Italian province from the game, we get the Renaissance by default? Let's uh, let's look at the end institution right there. It spawned right here. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And that'll hopefully spread to us pretty quickly. Would have been great if it was uh, Venice, but we don't have that colonized yet. All right, this changes everything. Click! Take that. One step closer to this. Patriotic propaganda. And let's take money. Men. Money. Always men. All right, go. All right, Milano is now colonized. So let's core that up. Let's spin that admin. If we add provinces with the Siberian frontiers, this is going to go up. So if we actually look, 631.88. All right, so let's see. Right now it is at 617. Hit this, go back 625. So it's gonna increase. Uh, AE impact, no, we don't want that. Influence? Sure. Imperial Authority. Take that click right now. And we'll call Cologne in. Let's do it now before, you know. Why not? Why not do it now? Let's take a look at the Great Power status. We're at 800 or 604. Oof, doing pretty hot, actually. Alright, we can't embrace. Let's do that. No longer a valid rival. Ottoman, we've eclipsed you. Uh, okay, I guess we're gonna take back that embargo. Hopefully we get the siege soon, and we can unsiege all of this nonsense. Stopping the progress in all of these colonies, which is just annoying. I don't mind though, we have so much uh, economy that it doesn't really matter. Gems, nice, that's not a bad, not a bad thing. They turn from grain to gems, what did I say? It's gonna change, it's gonna change. Price of gems increases. All right, let's hurry this up and not get full occupied by these guys here. All right, give me your money. I want your war reps. Sure, transfer trade power too. All right, the strength of the army has decreased a lot. We're getting money now. And so I say we do ship capture chance because that's the most broken thing in the game. Let's take some fights. We'll win them before they arrive. Nice. And we're going to probably wipe these guys now. Flatten it. Stop taking people's land. All right, let's get you the heck out of here. We could just do this now, I think. Union, perfect. I want you to field troops, so that's probably just good, just the Union and then it's all the same continent stuff, so all this ortho land is gonna be Catholic. Because when you colonize something on your own continent, you automatically change the religion. All right, we're at the dip look or the t military cost cap here. Um, that can go down another 10% if we wait a month. So uh, I think, I think honestly, we're at two stab. No, uh, military power, let's buy some generals. Or better yet, let's increase our development in military. Is that worth the knights? Good, those guys can, <laughs> those guys can get it the hell out of here. I do not like the knights. All right, control Bohemia. We get Imperial Growth Modifier plus 10%, Permanent Claim on Silesia. Let's save this until we're actually gaining some Imperial Growth. And um, let's make sure that uh, these guys actually like us. And let's build some production. Oh my god, 0.55. Man, that's nuts. Now we can just take this tech and be okay. Either that or this, get that get close to that admin efficiency. Um, I think we take the tech though. Now we're caught up and ahead of time. All right. Lawrence, Lucka, 
Here we go, this is a big one. Genoa. Montferrat, Piedmont. Krakow. 20 dev. Not bad. We've eclipsed Muscovy. Oh yeah, here we go. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Now we can just give ourselves this bonus to develop colonies, plus one production tax and manpower. And now, every province we get will gain a bonus free development for free. Permanent claim plus national manpower bonifier, not bad. Croatia, we get permanent claim on an area. Italian ambition, we get 10 years. Russian fishing and tax income, that's not bad. Uh, let's take that now. Transylvania, and then we just claims after that one. That's not the worst thing in the world. All oh, that juicy farmlands. All right, I need you to be a state, but I don't have any more state slots. You guys need to stop taking shit that's not yours. It doesn't belong to you, keep your hands off of it. And continue to blob for free. Okay, next idea. Definitely religious. You just force all these guys to give the unlawful territory back and just go to war with them over and over again. Then they'd hate me and then I would not get elected. We'll just leave them be. I just need to get into France here and then uh, we're home free. That's dangerous. They could form Ru Russia soon and then fight me for this. That's gonna be the uh, that's gonna be the test. Is uh, will we be able to beat the Russians? I think they're gonna be our biggest uh, biggest opponent here. They'll Siberian frontier all up in here. And we're only three techs away from that, so pretty sure they have everything they need to form Russia. They just need tech 10, really. Government reform progress, end of the game modifiers, Diplo rep bonus, and idea cost minus five. For sure take that click. Monthly autonomy change, boom. All right, now we're extra strong. We have the bonus infantry combat ability. All right, now we're actually making Imperial authority. Not bad. All right. You're alive, and you can now die. That means, uh, power controller. That's the thing now. I'm getting a free stab though. We need to build these manufacturers in every province we can. Take that. Expanding into France now. Um, former desire is 73%. We're gonna get a really late reformation in this game. I think we ought to collect trade in both Genoa and Venice. What do you think? And let's build some boats. How is my heir? He's shit. Kill him. Much better. Well, might as well add the rest of these provinces to the empire for now. Um, as many as I can, really. I think I have enough to uh, to really get the next reform. Past. Hopefully I can get some maps. I think uh, once exploration ha is had, I think we can start exploring the world. Sweden is still alive up here. Less and less provinces are being outside the empire, which is good. That event twice in a row, that's pretty deep. Decent. That's pretty good too. We have pure authority. We have a regency. But we are still the emperor. Until our kid gets old enough, which he's a decent kid, so that's pretty great. The reform desire is only at 81, so it's going to be really late reformation. Just the whole adding provinces to the empire to get imperial authority is just the most absurd thing in the game. In this case, we're just sending out a couple of Russians to uh, give us free uh, free provinces with insane amount of development. All right, we got it. Two more, and we can get rid of wars. That'll be nice. Stop. We can start having peace with the empire and get the last reforms pretty quickly. After that, I mean, not terrible amount of princes really left, but that's that's fine. Nice new archduke. Improved relations minus twenty percent. That's not that great. I'll tell you what is great. These colonies being finished. You know, I pretty much expected Morocco to do pretty well here, but I'm surprised the Ottomans haven't gone down into the Mamluks. They really took it well. They haven't even gone for Kandar yet. It's just really surprising considering I'm pretty sure they have the claims on it. Yeah. I guess the, without the Balkans, they're not as strong as you'd think they'd be. Muscovy, however, is, is going to be one beefy boy this game. The thing is, 
The thing is, my ruler is 16. Steel? There you go. Yeah, I would not be surprised if uh, these guys started colonizing Iberia. <laughs> not a great heir, we might have to kill him. But it only costs prestige, and that's not really a big issue, because we have so many colonies finishing. Let's kill the baby. Maybe seven princes now? We're slowly adding them, I guess, as we expand and can release nations. And soon we'll disallow wars, which will be really nice. Let's uh, get some stab. I really think we need some exploration, not gonna lie. This wouldn't be too bad, though. Alright, exploration it is. See, I knew this was going to happen. Give them back, you idiot. There we go, that's a good, good air. And get this land back into the HRE. Now we have the policy. Most religious unity and missionary strength. We can now go to war with the Auto Blob. Ah, I'd say we stay peaceful until after we revoke, and then we unleash the power of the vassals. Yeah! Give me the Pope power, man. I can really excommunicate everybody because everybody who's Catholic is uh, in the Empire. Speaking of Catholic, what is the Reform Desire at? 102%. Nice. So it's going to start. Uh, it's going to fire soon. Might as well use these guys here. I had a time on, on um, uh, admin here. Might as well do it. Almost bordering the Muscovites. Point one every month. These territories not being in the Empire. And we brought it down to point eight. That's nice. Doesn't look like any uh, other Center of Reformation is really going to spawn. Oh, joy. They flipped. Okay. We'll leave them for now. It's not like we really are struggling for Imperial Authority. Although I should just get forced these guys to be Catholic before I click that button. All right. Now we can uh, start colonizing some coasts. Just Riga and the Papal State, huh? Riga doesn't exist, though. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Non-existent Riga. Don't help me in this war, please. Papal State's up by Denmark. Cool. Denmark, who is starting to colonize. Expansion. The first colonizer. Russia, do you have expansion? No. Sweden, do you have expansion? No. Morocco, you taking something like that? Nope. All right, Denmark, good for you, buddy. I didn't even notice that you started doing this. Expanding, that's, oh, I don't like that. All right, well, we're gonna have to go to war with Denmark. <laughs> All right, Denmark. Ah, no! I didn't realize that was there. Cannot have you reformed. We're a big boy right now. 3k def. No one will join a coalition. Call these guys into two more wars. So we do that. If they flip right after this, I'm gonna be upset because then I can't go to war with them because of the truce. And I still really wanna see the world. I need to um, maybe send out an explorer. All right, I think at this point, I go for the next reform. Okay, one more and I get the overpoweredness, which is really all I need. Let's keep her moving. Okay, we're building a pretty decent fort line over here. Uh-oh, where'd this spawn? You see, um... I was supposed to spawn that. Not you. Me. I'm sending explorers out right now. It's almost there. Looks like we're gonna have to force spawn the institution. Ah! Did you look here? The steel is finally colonizing into Iberia. I'm not moral marrying you. 
All right, let's see here. Institution spread. That's what we want right away. Boom. Ugh. Everyone's converting to shit. Okay. Okay, nice. Here it is, guys. Here it is. Finally, we've added enough provinces to the Empire. We can click this button. And everybody likes us. So, 39 free vassals. I like it. Not the best revoke in the history of the world, and honestly, not the quickest. By far. By a long shot. But, it's mine. And, look at us. We are Siberian Frontier Austria. We have a staggering dev of almost 4,000. And, it is going to be an insane, insane path to Age of Absolutes. Let's go! Privileges have been revoked. Everyone becomes a vassal. And we have six relation slots. Nice. At this point now, I could care less about who's what religion. Um, the Senate's Reformation, those will eventually go away. All right, let's go. Now that we have subjects, we can. Convert them. Hmm, what do these Americas look like? I see nobody's really arrived because we killed all the colonizers. All right, I think it's about time we start going to war with the Russians. Let's send our troops up here now that we've built these forts. And we'll get ready to deus vault these guys. All right, let's uh, see if I can't force convert Bulgaria, right? I can do that, huh? Let's get rid of this disgusting purple flag. All right, well, it seems that our troops are in place. Let's go to war with Muscovites. Just absolutely look at these numbers. They're insane. We, we are going to just crush these guys. Oh, and one thing before I forget. We have a 100 tradition general that was rolled really poorly, but does have three fire, or three siege scripts, not bad. This is a holy war, so maybe we should uh, actually take some strategic fights. That's a fight I'm looking at. There we go. Nice, four war score. Not too bad. I'm fighting the rebels for them, that's fun. What do we want to take from you? I say we take your forts. That's not a bad peace deal. Oh, these little minions. I love them. It's so simple. And we spawned the printing press. We knew we would. Boom, right here. Now we just need to embrace two institutions before these modifiers really, really start to stack up. Um, let's click on this here. Boom, all right, advancement. They won't be able to form Russia once I take these forts, which is really good. If we don't take Moscow, we're able to do it. I think that's the strategy, guys. We're going to stretch with this, like a little slippery snake, and that'll get us to China faster, where we can mess up the Ming and get those trade companies. That's a nice little stack wipe. All right, we're really starting to finish these up now. That's a victory right there. And now we get some actual war score. Oh, now we have a little bit of tentacle. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we can now start expanding into the Siberian, the true Siberian frontier. Another great thing about this is we've effectively cut Muscovy in half, which is great. We can embrace colonialism now. It's a pretty expensive click, but we should for sure take it. Let's seize these colonies. Perfect. All right, let's see if we can't make a little bit more money here. Let's go to our vassals. All of these guys are going to start diverting trade to us. Their stacks are going to be a little bit weaker. We're going to make a lot more money. Yes! Look at that increase! Oh my god! That's some good stuff right there. I think it's about time we go to war with these guys. What do you say? I think it's a grand idea. Huge negative penalties or rolls here, but I guess it doesn't really matter. There's no wars in the Empire, and we're the only Catholic, so I think we take this click here. And get that, uh... Get that going. Let's see if I can't take some of their coastline. That's not bad at all. They'd have to completely get rid of their navy if I did this, so let's, um, let's do that one. Alrighty, guys, we're almost done with colonizing the lowlands. Alright, let's continue to build these manufactories as many as we can. Alright, the Ottomans will accept! Perfect. Alright, I think, uh, this is where we take the, uh, peace deal here. Send that demand there. Okay, I think we give Bulgaria some more land here. Give them a dream. Perfect. 
Now that means we have a lot less aggressive expansion or overextension for ourselves. We can core all this up right away. I think I should probably go to war with Venice, actually. Looks like the Mamluks are taking a bite of the Ottomans as well. Well, let's see what the vassals can do here. And nice, no more centers of reformation left. That's pretty awesome. Only two spawned. All right, we can finally embrace, nice. Catch up on dip tech. Spend a little bit more dip tech. And we can start spending some more money. Let's take offensive here. We need a military idea. Like one click here for now. Anyways, let's take all of this land. And core that up. Can't really beat up on the Muscovites again. I think that's something that we have to do. Let's just do it. Time for some more colonies. Amsterdam. Alright, our vassals are starting to arrive. It's really putting cutting them into a few pieces here. Yeah, that's pretty disgusting border gore. I wouldn't want to be Muscovy right now. Alright, we can take all of this. I say we do it. 177% overextension, but that's okay. No, it looks like a steel. It's doing a lot more colonizing now. They're finally getting their foothold back into the world. And they're trying to reclaim Iberia, but uh, sadly for them, we, uh, we're a little bit ahead of them. Alright, let's do some building. We have 13,000 ducats to spend. Furs went up 40% in price with the depletion of the European burgers, so let's uh, build manufactories in all of these provinces. Congratulations if you made it this far! Unfortunately, my save file got corrupted, and so I'm not able to become the Holy Roman Empire, so the whole point of doing this in an Iron Man game was kind of wasted. So here's a time lapse of a game I played where I was Poland and had Prussian culture. I want to thank all of you very much for watching and for all of the support on the channel. I can't wait to put out some exciting new content for you guys come June 9th when Emperor is released. And if you want to stay up to date on what I've been working on and what plans I have for the future, consider following me on Twitter at Icepire Gaming, or join the Discord server. Here we have a dedicated channel for discussing the game, exploits, and submitting new ideas to the community. And be sure to leave any feedback you have down in the comments below. I'm actually very interested in what you guys have to say and I love hearing from you. And lastly, if you like this video, be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. And as always, I'll see you next time.